We will explore the powerful capabilities of the path tool in GIMP. You will learn how to create and manipulate paths, add curves, and adjust anchor points to achieve precise designs. We will also cover how to convert paths into fills and strokes. Hi back, I will show you how to use the path tool in GIMP. First, let's create a new layer by clicking on this icon in the layers panel. In the dialog that appears, keep the fill option set to transparency to maintain your layer's transparency. Then click OK to create it. Now, select the path tool from the toolbox is this icon. Alternatively, you can press the shortcut key B to activate the path tool. Now, go back to the top right and select tool options. If it is not visible, click on this icon then add tab, then select tool options. In edit mode in tool options, select design. Click on the canvas to create the first point of your path. Continue clicking to add more points. To create curves, click and drag to create curves with handles. Then continue adding more points. If you want to close the path, move your mouse over the first point until you see this icon and click to close it. To move an anchor point, click on the point and drag it. To move multiple points, hold shift, click on the second point and then drag it. To delete a point, select that point and right click, then click delete anchor. Alternatively, you can select any point you want to delete and then press the backspace key on your keyboard. To add curves to the straight path, move your mouse over the path line until you see this icon, then click and drag to create new handles. To adjust a handle from one side, click on the handle and drag to change it. Alternatively, press shift to change both sides of the anchor handles. To add more points to the current path, go to edit mode in tool options and select edit. Then move your mouse over the path line until you see the plus icon and click to create a new point. You can continue to add more points. To move the entire path, go to edit mode in tool options and select move. Then click on the path and drag it to change its position. Once your path is complete, you can convert it to a fill by clicking on fill path and edit mode in tool options. Then, in the Paths dialog, select any option you want. Finally, click Fill to convert your path to a fill. Alternatively, you can also stroke the path to create a visible line by clicking on Stroke Path in Edit Mode and Tool Options. Then, in the Paths dialog, select any option you want and adjust the line width here. You can also set the path corner style and choose the line style from this section. Finally, click Stroke to convert your path to a stroked line. Also, there are other line styles. To do this, go back to Stroke Path. This time, choose the Paint Tool option, then select any option from the Paint Tool drop-down menu. Click Stroke to convert your path to a new stroke line. Alternatively, return to the previous settings, and enable this option to apply that style as well. Always apply this on a transparent layer to maintain control and keep it as a transparent object. Stay tuned for more advanced tips and tricks that will transform your design process in GIMP. If you find this tutorial helpful, hit the like button, comment with your thoughts or questions, and subscribe or follow for more in-depth tutorials.